Using a sphere, I'll pull down her face, shape her jaw from the side and the front, then I'll create a new sphere for her neck. I'll now add another sphere, mirror it, and quickly shape an elf-like ear. I'll carve in the eye sockets, inflate her mouth area for a nice rounded shape, sculpt her nose, crease in her lips and refine the mouth a bit. I'll then continue carving in her face to add eyes using a sphere, placing it in her eye sockets and mirroring it. By using vertices and extruding them with the snap tool on, I will model her eyebrows. I'll do the same for her upper and lower eyelashes. I'll create a new sphere to cover up her head to represent the base of her hair. I'll then add a hair strand using curves, manipulate the points, duplicate her hair, then place it for another hair strand, rinse and repeat till I finish that part of her hair. Noise. With a new sphere, I'll quickly sculpt her white collar, then I'll grab a few polygons from her eyes, apply a dark color for the pupils, a nice bluish color for her iris, and BAM! We got eyes. I'll add two new spheres for her torso and pelvic area, quickly shape her torso, then I'll duplicate the pelvic sphere for her arms and add a mirror to that one. I'll duplicate the mirrored sphere for her legs as well, then I'll start scaling and shaping the upper legs, upper arms, lower legs, and forearms. I'll create a floor for her to stand on by modeling a cube, add a sphere for her feet, then duplicate it for the base of her hands. I'll do some quick adjustments, then I'll start merging the body with remesh and refine it further by indicating muscles, fat and flesh, while keeping it simple for now. I'll turn the whole scene to black to see how her silhouette looks like right now, and since she's still looking a bit short, I'll use a plane to represent the length of her head, duplicate it a few times, and push her body down to give her the height of a 7 head figure, since 6.5 was looking a bit short for what I'm going for. Now I will use a modified cube to cut the upper part of her body and start creating her outfits. I'll add a blue color for her shirt, including the upper arms, a darker color for her pants, pull her shirt down a bit, then add a white color for her forearms and bulk it up a bit to represent part of her clothes. I'll also cut the lower part of her legs to sculpt her boots. She can't do much without fingers, so I'll grab a sphere, scale it, place it for her thumb, duplicate it for the index finger, Quickly shape the two fingers, then I'll duplicate her index finger to give her a total of 5 fingers. Now feel free to add more, this is optional. Getting back to the head, I'll duplicate the hair curve and start creating the longer strands of her hair. I'll keep it simple since I will later on work on her hair after giving her a pose, and I promise you, her hair will look majestic. So so majestic. Okay, so putting her hair aside for now, it's time to finish her outfits. To do so, I'll use basic modeling techniques similar to what we have seen so far. I'll finish sculpting the boots, continue working on her shirt, keeping shapes simple but still representing her outfit. I'll refine her elf ears, sculpt in her gluteus maximus muscles, add in some hair strands in the front, then get back to her outfit to finish adding different elements and accessories. Now she is ready for a rig. Noise. I'll add an armature, scale it up, place some bones to match her actual pose, delete bones that I won't need, place more bones till everyone matches her pose. Then I will link her to the armature with some lazy automatic rigging that will do my job for me. I'll give her rig a test, then I will give her a nice pose that will make her 120% more interesting. Moving them eyes, moving them hips, giving her a spin, noise. For her gloves, I will duplicate part of her hands, add a darker color, a solidify modifier and voila, we got gloves. Time to make Zelda's hair so, so majestic. I'll remove most of the long hair strands I made earlier and start adding new hair strands. This time, I'll give some logic and weight to her hair, make them go in a direction as if the wind is moving them to the side while interacting with each other and with her body in her new pose. Did I mention her hair would be so majestic? Noise. Cool, cool, cool. Right before texturing her, I'll refine her outfit by adding a multi-resolution modifier to bump up the details. And then I'll sculpt in some nice sharp stylized folds, some seams, do the same for the rest of her outfit, and continue refining Zelda till satisfaction. Noise. Very noise. Alright, time to wrap things up. I'll quickly unwrap her face and eyes with Smart UV Project, then I'll switch to the EV Render, add some lights and start texturing her face. I'll add a nice pinkish color for her lips, darken the area where the upper and lower lips meet, then add some fake highlights to make it 125% visually more interesting. I'll then texture the rest of the face by hinting some reds, some dark blues and some brighter areas. I'll finish texturing her up by painting the iris, adding some dark greenish colors, some brighter ones where the light reflects, some interesting darker lines, then I will modify the shader of her eyes to make it look more glossy. Nice. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to be the first to watch my future videos. Oh, and if you didn't know, I just released a new anatomy course, so if you're interested, I'll add a link below. 
And with that said, I will see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome character sculpts and art related videos. You can also check out my store for full courses on character sculpting, texturing, materials, brushes and more. Last but not least, if you enjoyed this video then you will definitely enjoy the next one.